So yeah guys, I'm officially registered. Too much, maybe then all you needed was a crutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really thought that you would come and save me. But so I thought you were creeping around. channel i really hope you guys enjoyed here today so today's video is actually a vlog of me preparing for university getting ready for university organizing my modules and looking cute for university <laughs> guys i'm actually a registered student i'm super grateful and thankful to the lord that registration went smoothly for me i even have my proof of registration here so it's official university is finally starting ah, i'm so happy <laughs> and yeah guys i'll just show you when i did my hair i'll show you a clip right morning i hope you guys are good this morning so currently i'm actually going to go to Sampton and do my hair i'm doing box braids because i just want to look cute for university look cute for school and not worry about you know combing my hair every day so i'm super excited and it's actually quite affordable student friendly less than 500 rand if i'm not mistaken and i'll also leave the lady that's doing my hair in santin um in the description box i also wanted to show you the expression that i use i'm going to use color two and also color four here let me show y'all there we go i'll show you properly <laughs> but yeah i'm so excited to you know get cute for school you know i'm really really excited i'll show you guys the end product when i come back because i do have to take a taxi at alex and then also from alex go to santon for those that know that don't know i actually live five minutes away from alexandra so yeah i don't want to lose my phone or anything like that so hopefully you guys don't mind me not showing you that process but yeah man let's go get cute and beautiful for school Okay guys, I'm done with my hair. Let me show y'all. This was $2.50. It was $2.50 excluding my hair piece. Um, as you guys remember, I bought four expressions. And actually, this is actually four expressions on my hair right now. Even though I wish it did my box space a little bit smaller. But hey, I'm not complaining. Uh, I actually do not go to Santin. No, we actually went to Santin. But the lady that usually does my hair was not there. And she cost like 300 rand. So me and my mom just decided to go to Johannesburg CBD. Then that's when I got my hair for 250. And now the lady that did my hair, yo, her hand, guys, yo, her hand is so soft. Like, I was even sleeping. Uh, her hand is really, really soft. Or maybe because I'm used to braiding. That's why I didn't think her hand was hard. I don't know. But I'm really used to braiding. And braiding for me is not really so. It's just the after effect. Like, now it's, like, giving me a headache. I'll 100% leave the girl that did my hair in the description box. And the shop and where it is in the description box. You guys can hit her up. But so far... I'm happy. Let me show y'all. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh. Yeah, guys. I think tomorrow we'll start with doing other school stuff, like to register, to get my test books, and all of that. But for now, we're looking cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, this is my hair. Okay, so back to reality. So I actually have my letter of confirmation that I am officially a registered student. Let me show you just a little, just a little. There we go. There. That I am a registered student at the University of Western Cape. Um, program name Bachelor of Science in Occupational Therapy. So yeah, guys, I'm officially registered. Right now, I'm actually going to organize my modules, and I'll just show you how I do that on my laptop. 
so that whenever I have to upload lectures and slides, I know where to put them and it's just organized for me. So let's do that. Okay guys, so I've already highlighted and separated my modules from first semester to second semester. As you guys see, don't worry about this, I'm just hiding my student number. So now what I'm going to do is I put that here. So the first thing I do is that obviously I'm going to create two folders. So first of all, I will create a folder saying first semester, which will have all my first semester modules. And then another folder will have second semester, which will have my second semester module. So I'm just going to go to new, create folder, and just say first semester. first semester and then I'm going to go again and click new folder second semester second semester there we go don't worry I'll like show you the end product how it looks like um so within my first semester module I mean my first semester folder sorry what I'm going to do is that this is where I'm going to write all my first semester modules. So my first semester modules are the ones that are not highlighted. Um, that's what I'm going to write. Uh, okay. Oh, so how I do this again? Sorry, I keep forgetting. So I'm going to go to new, create folder. And just write the module. So told me I was enough. Too much. Maybe then all you needed was a crutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so once you are done with creating that and putting all your modules like me, let me show y'all. Do y'all see I just put all my modules? Don't worry, I'll show you a clear picture. So once you guys are done that, for each module, you are going to create, uh, you're going to organize your slides, your lectures, and all of that. So you're going to separate your modules into assignments, course outline, lectures, practicals, and tutorials. This will make it very easy so when you download something from a lecture or something, you know exactly where to put it on your laptop. So within each module, you're going to do that. So this does take time. So just, you know, prepare yourself. Give yourself like an hour to just organize your laptop and it'll make your life so much easier. And to always know where your assignments are and what to do for your assignments, you know that you have to go to the assignment folder. So, yeah. So, okay, let's do that. The first thing is... Yeah, 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 yeah. I never really thought that you would come and save me And so I thought you were creeping around with your sex Okay, so now you guys are done organizing your modules and doing that I'm going to show you what next do I do to organize myself and my modules even more Okay, let me show you the end results Let me go back Okay, so here is the end result. As you see that I have first semester and second semester. When you click on first semester, you see all my modules for this year. Then you go into one of my modules and you see assignment, course outline, lectures, practicals, and tutorials. Um, then let me go back for every single subject. This is what I did. This does take time. Okay, guys. So I've already printed out my timetable for term 1, 2, 3, and 4. But right now I'm going to focus on term 1. Um, and this is how it looks like. Let me get this. Please don't mind this. Again, I'm hiding my student number and also my um, student email. Um, yeah, so right now I'm actually going to put that on Google Calendar. So I get notified 30 minutes before class that, hey, if you're busy with something, 30 minutes 
I have class, you know. So let me quickly do that. It is. this planner I got from Typo Okay guys, so I actually went ahead and printed out my module organizers and my course outlines but obviously it's not all of them because I'm quite ahead um, with uh, my school works because as I said the school starts on the 15th of March and um, yeah but I found out that I have a few assignments so I'm going to just write down my assignments in my cute planner i will most definitely show you guys my planner and yeah man um i'm really quite ahead of time so i was only able to get only two modules but that is still enough and for those two modules i already know that i have assignments i have quizzes i have class tests and i just want to put it in this calendar so i can remember um and also i'm going to go put it into my laptop on google keeps and I'll show you that later on today. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh, like I'm so tired. Yo. Um, unfortunately, we came to the end of today's vlog. I really hope today's vlog was informative. You guys um, understood what I was saying and I hope I made sense. I really hope. Um, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. But that's only if you want to support your girl. But for me, Baby Sunshine, Good luck with your university studies and your new year. Please start being organized. You'll see a huge difference. Um, you don't necessarily have to do the way I do it because I do so many different things. Um, but that's how I cope and um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, congratulations to all the first years that got accepted into university, college, wherever. Institutions wherever you um, applied for and you got accepted i'm super proud of you guys so yeah man <laughs> bye told me i was enough too much maybe the know you need it was a crutch yeah yeah, yeah.